Researchers have used a new X-ray scanning technique on an ancient Greek vase to reveal layers of it and paint beneath the surface. The results raise questions about how ancient pottery was produced and whether previously unknown additional steps were involved. The researchers now hope to use the X-ray scanning method on other materials that could be used in batteries or electronics. The findings come as a result of a growing collaboration between the Cantor Arts Center and Stanford University, both in California. About two years ago, the Art Center introduced a fellowship for science students interested in studying art conservation. Susan Roberts Mangonelli, director of the Learning Lab said, We can do a lot of testing here at the Cantor, but some studies need more robust collaboration and more powerful x-rays to actually get answers to our questions. One such study, done by student Kevin Chow, took a deeper look at the techniques of the ancient Greek potters, which are difficult to reproduce and not entirely understood. The study focused on an Athenian oil flask called the Lycabus from 500-480 BC. Using a technique called synchrotron X-ray fluorescence, the team was able to uncover surprising steps in the production process that challenged the conventional understanding. Jody Maxim, who supervised Mr. Chow's study, said, Under what they thought was a single coat, they found other instances of painting that the naked eye could not see. It was thrilling to learn that a very humble vase, hundreds of these were produced for the Festival of Athena every four years, shows certain standards of aesthetic excellence. The scan produced a chemical map which showed that a calcium-based color additive was used for white, which would have added an additional step. It also raised questions about the firing process due to the absence of zinc, which was presumed to be key in achieving black colors in the heating process. The researchers now hope to use the same scanning technique on other materials. A Perva Meta, a scientist from Stanford, said, We had to find a way to see all layers of the Greek pot in detail, which is something we want to do for other materials that might be used in batteries or electronics.